and welcome to the Three Wheel Podcast. This is your host, Danny Ryan, and I'm excited. Today I have someone relatively new uh, here with me, Khan Huang, and Khan is a senior consultant for Three Wheel. Welcome to the team. It's, it's You've been here for, for two months. Yep. Um, uh, this 15th would be exactly two months. Awesome. Welcome. And everything's going well. You know where the bathrooms are. You know where the, the yep. office location is. You know how to get in the door. Yep. Got found a coffee machine in the bathroom, <laughs> so I'm set. <laughs> just have to warn you, if you're going by the bathroom, just make sure Tim isn't around because he likes to hang out in there. So just, that's just, <laughs> a, just, just a heads up, a friendly reminder there. But uh, well, we're excited to have you here. So. Tell me um, a little bit more about yourself. Tell me, um, uh, we want to cover sort of like a personal interview with this, but uh, tell me what you typically, um, as a senior consultant, what are you typically doing? Or where, what have you started out doing here at 3Well? Um, right now I'm working on a lot of forms for, um, for a company that does trucking mm -hmm. and um, it, we're, we're using Nintex products, mm -hmm. uh, Nintex forms and Nintex workflows, mm -hmm. but uh, a general uh, responsibility for senior consultants could be anything in SharePoint. Um, you know, I, I don't do much development yet, but yep. infrastructure, Office 365, migrations, etc. We are really excited to have you here because I think we've got a lot of, with our app dev background, we have a lot of people who are used to doing app dev. And I think with your infrastructure and your experience that you bring with really with, um, it, it helps us to sort of, I see, fill out what we can do. Um, I know with uh, you starting off with Nintex, you've got some background there where you've used it on projects previously, correct? Yes, uh, used Nintex exten extensively um, for on-premise projects a lot. Mm -hmm. So with Office 365, it's a little bit newer. Um, so a little bit of a learning curve, but there's a lot of um, common actions that you can yep. still do you know, for the SharePoint Online. Awesome. And then uh, I know I want to have a follow-up episode with you. We're going to go easy on this first one. We'll just have <laughs> a fun one for the first one. But I want to definitely get uh, have a follow-up conversation with you about you know, sort of like an intro to MetaLogics and some of your experience with migration tools because that's really been a hot subject around here. A lot of our project work has been talking about everybody's saying they're in the cloud, but yeah. they're not. They're, people are finally making the move. So it's an exciting time to do migrations. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really is. So enough about work. That's, that's, a, that's all we're covering work-wise. Now the rest of this is fun. Uh, for you, any personal hobbies? That you, what are you doing when you're not dealing with SharePoint? What are you dealing with or what do you like to do outside of work? Well, it used to be traveling, but now we just had a, uh, a baby five months ago. Congratulations. Thank you. So, um, Is you it know, a boy or a girl? I, don't, I should know this, but I don't. Boy <laughs> or a girl? It's a boy. It's a boy. Uh, his name is Vin. Van. And uh, he just turned five months, so keeping us busy. So we're not traveling as much anymore. But <laughs> we, we used to be able to travel a bit more, uh -huh. even though I have a fear of flying. So, but if 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 I fly for fun, I will. <laughs> uh huh. So, you, does your wife enjoy f uh, flying as well, or? Uh yeah, she yeah. she didn't have any problem with it. Just yeah. me and just my you know, giving control away to somebody else. <laughs> understand. Understand. What's the favorite place that you've traveled to? Uh, Venice has been my favorite. Really? So we, we did a trip a few years ago where we flew into London and Paris and Venice, Rome, Florence. So did, did uh, a, a few countries in Europe. So it, it's been, it was nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Venice is a cool place to go visit. San Marco <laughs> Square and just, uh, I had some really good meals there too. Oh yes, some food very, is amazing. Very good food there. Well, uh, the food in Rome was better than Venice, but the scenery yeah. in Venice was much better. Yeah, <laughs> very nice, very nice. Um, for you, you have a favorite TV show, movie, book? What? What? Any? Anything that jumps out to you? Um, back in the days, it was I was watching a lot of Friends, mm -hmm. but lately it was uh, Top Gear the the uk version mm -hmm. and then uh you know right now watching like gotham flash arrow you know weeklies so uh, any of those I, I i love spending some time on hulu <laughs> okay so hulu is your sort of go-to to go get yep. stuff on demand for yep. you 
Are you a cord cutter, or do you still have cable? Or? Yep. No, I, I cut the cord a, a few uh, years ago yeah. and um, never looked back. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing the amount of content that you can get on demand. It's just about anything. <laughs> it is. It's too much. Too much stuff sometimes. It's that like, is what true. am I? What am I going to cover next? Uh, <laughs> yeah, sometimes I'll go through and see a few episodes that pop up with the with the label new on it, and then mm-hmm. you get you know binge watch for like a couple hours. <laughs> mm-hmm. Have any favorite books that that sort of jump out to you, or maybe do you read travel books when you go to some place new before you head there? Or yeah, but I do most of my research and stuff online, uh-huh. and um, not so much books. Don't don't really sit down and read through books. It's just it's not, a lot of stuff online nowadays. Yeah, not not enough time for books. <laughs> yeah. yeah, take things by bite size. Right, bite sized is good. So, a really personal question: What phone do you use? <laughs> um, iPhone all the way. Yeah. So, have you? How long have you been using an iPhone for? Ever since the very first one. Really? Yep. My so goodness, an two, early adopter. Two thousand six or seven when it came out with the first one. Uh huh. And had iPhone ever since. And never do you skip back. a generation usually, or how do you, how often do you up upgrade? No, I had every one of them. You've had every one of them. <laughs> yep. My every, every single model. Goodness. And right now I'm using a six, so I'm not on the latest success uh-huh. yet, but I'm usually one model behind. So are you PC or Mac then? PC. Your PC with yep. an iPhone, you but you have to watch out. There's a fever going around here, <laughs> and that is people starting to use Macs. I see that because you can virtualize. I see Windows, a lot of that, and mm-hmm. you see a lot of that that sort of stuff going on around here. So yes, sir. You may catch that fever. I'm just I'm warning you right now. I'll, I'll try. <laughs> it, 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 it may happen. It's it, it's good hardware. Either way, it's a. Uh, it's amazing how far uh, Windows has come along with Windows 10, too. It's, it's the, lots of good stuff out there, both yep. great alternatives. Have any favorite apps that you use sort of on a daily basis? Um, I open Facebook and Twitter a lot, of course, mm-hmm. just like everybody else. But lately, I just discovered a, an app called Fuse. It's spelled F-Y-U-S-E. Okay. And it's, when you take a, it's, it's like a, it takes like 20 pictures um, in series and it stitch them together and it makes a 3D image. Oh, nice! So as you're tilting your phone, it it rotates the pictures with it. So it's a 3D image of whatever the subject is. And what is the format in the end? Is it like an animated GIF or? Yeah, you can it? export okay. it as an exp- animated GIF okay. or you can view it right in the app. Um, but it's it's really cool. I so know what I'm going to do this afternoon now. <laughs> <laughs> You're wondering what I do back here in this room. It's just I try apps and okay. I see what happens. I make I make a lot of animated gifs. I see. It keeps <laughs> <laughs> That's how, so it's Fuse is the name of it. F Y U S E. Okay. I'll have to check that out. That's nice. pretty cool. That's not that's a free tip, folks. Beautiful. <laughs> you got a free tip. Go try it out. Um you're almost through with this. This wasn't bad, was it? No, not at all. A piece it's of cake. enjoyable. It's a piece of cake. Get the piece <laughs> of cake. I'm just warming you into the next. We're going to ask you really tough questions on the next episode. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll dive in. I'll see a weak point, and then I'll go for it. <laughs> that sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah. I might call in sick that day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can. No, we'll just have. We'll continue to have fun here. So, very self-serving question to wrap this up. You've been here for you know close to two months. What have you enjoyed so far? Has it been someone in particular that you've worked with? Is it what what about the environment that you like? Assuming you like something about the environment, <laughs> what have you liked so far? Um, it seems to be re- more relaxed here. Mm-hmm. Um, not so structured with you know my manager and who's reporting to who. So. Yeah. Um, I like just you know everybody is a is a fellow co-worker yep. that you can talk to you can lean on for support mm-hmm. you know technical or otherwise mm-hmm. and um, it's it's a good environment I enjoy the environment awesome and um, the projects I've only been on one so far and the, the client has been very nice yep. so I enjoy that yeah well you came from a great company and we're excited to have you here and uh, look forward to seeing what you're able to do and. Um, we'll give you, you know, Tommy and I, everybody will give you uh, as much support, support as we can give you to be successful. We may, that some people may even teach you some PowerShell stuff. You, so you may, you may dabble with some things you've never dabbled with before. Yep. Pete already taught me a lot of PNP PowerShell, so already learning new things. <laughs> good. good. Learning is so much fun. So, you know, this is just a really good environment if you want to 
want to learn and grow. So we're excited about having you here. Yep. Then we'll... Thank you so much, everybody, for taking the time to learn a little bit more about Khan. Khan will get together uh, again in the not-so-distant future to talk a little bit more about migrations. But uh, thank you for, for doing this today and being willing to show up here and, and sit down and talk with me. Thank you so much. Thank you. you betcha. Thank you.